Greetings, family, and welcome to Coffee with Rion, uh, round two. All right. So, I just woke up from a pretty um, awesome dream. Uh, pretty much wasn't a dream. I was facilitating a specific role. I was talking to uh, law enforcement in 4D, and uh, I was talking to them and explaining to them and the 3D subconscious on Earth. I was in Los Angeles. Um, I'm in Sedona now. But I was speaking to a group of uh, law enforcement that wanted to understand why their personality changes. And if I could explain it to them, right, that would be easier for them to understand. Like why a per your personality changes throughout the day and why your personality or characteristics of your personality, right, change. And it's basically due to the application of the moment. Okay. Based upon what you are doing in that moment is a direct reflection of what type of characteristic or version of you is going to answer the specific questions. Okay. Now, it could be all part of your subconscious mind, your conscious mind. Obviously, your chemical computer, your brain is an amazing creation. It took a very long time to create this high-speed processor, right? With all these amazing beings and higher selves and etheric cords attached to you as you exist in this third-dimensional realm of the physical. So, what I was expressing to this, I basically just woke up from talking to this guy for about 20 to 40 minutes, explaining to him how your personality changes based upon what you are doing. Okay. Now, based on the biological system of the human brain, obviously when more adrenal or adrenaline fires in the brain, right, everything speeds up. Okay. If you guys have ever had a near-death life experiences, the reason why everything slows down is because your eyes see at 30 frames per second. Okay, 30 frames per second, you know, if you guys are familiar in film school, the NTSC standard of 29.97 frames per second is the natural, easy resting state of a human eye and what you can perceive, right? Well, when your adrenal glands fire, if you're in a stressful situation or whatnot, you get in a heated argument and you have to be prepared, right? Your eyes can see at 60 frames per second. Hence, when you get in a car accident or you had something gnarly happen like that, um, time slows down. It's not supposedly time slowing down. You are seeing it twice the speed. Okay, now, back to the biological application of the moment. Okay, so, based upon your understanding of who you are, why you are the way you are, and your learned programming. Now, um, when you were a child and maybe mommy or daddy would get upset, okay, um, you would watch their physical characteristics, attitude, and, you know, how they carry themselves, right, when they were upset, you know, mommy's arguing with daddy, or daddy's arguing with mommy, or whatever, and you're a little kid, and you're remembering all of this, as you grow up, you obviously, you know, have you seen this many times, you know, the kids act very similar, or have the very similar mannerisms of their parents in the same type of situation that would take place, so now you are, um, you know, a true embodiment of your father and you are acting in the same manner. Okay, now check this out. That is a biological 3D program of a um, reflecting a learned trait. Okay? I give you to this as an example. All right, now check this out. Dimensionally, as multidimensional beings, because we are multidimensional beings, it goes a little deeper. Okay, that learned trait was passed from your your grandpa to your dad to you. Keep going back, your great grandpa, your great 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 grandpa, and so forth and so on. Now we're beginning to talk about your bloodline. Okay, so different characteristics or family traits are carried down through your DNA. Right. As we know, they're proving that um, DNA has memory, obviously, okay? They've uh, proven this when they take out an, an organ from a, a body donor. Someone got hurt. This is the one story I remember that, that really drove it home for me. There was uh, someone who had a kidney or an organ transplant, and it was a, it was a big operation. It was, I think it was like uh, both kidneys or a kidney and a liver, and it, it was taken from a uh, an ex um, a motorcycle or kind of like an adrenaline junkie guy who you know was like 27 and he uh, he passed away and he was a body donor so this one guy received his um, organs 
Well, you know, about two to six months afterwards, the guy picked up the drums for no reason and started to learn how to play drums. Unbeknownst to himself, the donor that he got it from was an avid drummer. Okay, so now we've kind of put that out there for you to fill in the gaps. Your flesh, your organs, your cells have memory. Okay, I know many guys already understand this, but now let's bring that full circle back into this discussion. So, knowing that these biological suits, knowing that these cells, knowing that your DNA has memory, now which type of memory base are you going to operate from based upon the application of the moment in which you need or feel it necessary to activate those specific parts of you? Okay, so back to the conversation with the sheriff this morning in, in dream time, and I was trying to explain to him when his personality changes, okay, and then I was beginning to explain to him how to learn how to balance your yin, right, on your left side, and your yang on your right side. Now, these are two equally awesome opposing forces, okay? And when you put these two forces together in the middle where that friction is, is where you can drive growth and understanding. However, too much of any one thing can be detrimental based upon the environment and based upon what you want to learn. Okay, so um, back to understanding yang energy. I will, I will write or type on this, the, the power of the force on this specific video and I want to explain why. When people talk about yin and yang or the, the light and the dark forces, right, and how they work together, the understanding is they work together. They move around one another. Okay? So, same with your personality based upon the application or what you're doing, right? Those same forces apply. Okay, so when you feel yourself getting into a negative thought form, when you feel yourself being pulled into an auto response program that you have pre-programmed or memorized or learned in your chemical computer in this incarnation to remember, right, that you have a choice to use that operating system or that program of thought or choose something else, right? Um, that's it, right? So, as you guys are evolving, as you guys are ascending, that's my family, you guys are awesome out there, right? You're starting to pick and choose your life, your path, your enlightenment, right? In a manner that dictates your true function as you walking in your highest destiny. Well, that being the case, you can't take the auto response mommy and daddy program and apply that to every single thing in your life, right? That you have learned, right? And think that that's going to be the type of growth that is necessary for you to ascend or become the being that you truly are. So first thing you gotta do is break that programming. Second thing you have to do is repurpose your energy, okay, your positive and your negative, and how, the, or polarities I should say, and how to functionally use that as an application in your day-to-day -day life. And I'll explain. Okay, here we go. See, I wake up like this. I'm like, uh, I'm going to have to share this because this is like cranking, right? So here we go. Let's talk about how I balance the night version of me. Let's talk about where that comes from. Let's talk about what happens if you don't. Here we go. Okay. When I go to the gym, every day, every other day, when I'm on the bench press, when I'm doing squats, when I'm doing my cardio, okay, and I get my heart rate over 120, 140, hence my adrenal gland, right, that part of me that wants to fire, that doesn't get a chance to fire in this modern age, you know, we have a suit that is timeless, right, always growing, but in this modern age, you know, People are going to work and sitting in front of a computer for eight to nine, ten hours a day, or sitting in front of, in a law office, or sitting in a doctor's office, right, or a dentist office, or you know, whatever job you have, right. They're not getting to use the suit, hence balance the energy that they normally would in a different timeline or a different time in general. The suit 
has been through many timelines. The suit is operational in many times. However, in this modern age, right, some of these energies cannot be expressed. So what happens? Okay. So obviously, um, hold on for this one. We gotta we gotta kick it up a notch. Hold on a second. Let me, let me help help it out here. All right. So it feels so much better. Okay. <laughs> Now let's get it on. Okay. You need to learn how to move the energy. The energy that you need to be able to understand is that yang fire energy. The yang fire energy to me is an expression of explosion, right? However, an expression that can be used in a positive manner. Here's the deal. You have to learn how to master the yang energy because if you do not, right? Let me explain what happens. Here comes the wine or two glasses of wine after you need you come home from work to relax. Here comes the, you know, popping, you know, uh, whatever pharmaceutical thing you, you take to relax. Here comes a six pack of beer to relax. Here comes your smoke to relax. Here comes whatever that is for you to lower the stress level instead of utilizing it, expressing it and exhausting it. Like instead of doing that, you would come home from work you know, take care of your stuff and then drink your smoothie, right? You can go to the gym, work out for an hour and a half, two hours, express that type of tension and that energy that is pent up in a positive way, which chooses, you know, which creates your suit in your body, in your well-being to regrow stronger, right? Instead, you choose to go unconscious. I'm going to, I'm going to drown it out. I'm going to drown it out. Whatever that is, I have to do to turn it off because I don't want to feel that way. Okay, now, that's why there's many successful people, but when they wake up in the morning, they're unhappy. Why is that? They are not expressing that force that flows through them in a productive way. Okay, so the learn trait, the explosions, the negative programming that, that people do to one another and have gone through, right? That energy needs to be moved right now on earth. Everyone is transmuting right now. Everyone is going through emotional clearing right now. Please do yourself a favor and move the energy. If you want to go walk a mile, walk, even walk around the block in the sun, put some nice music on, you need to move. Do not try to process these type of frequencies that are hitting this planet right now, right, of the higher frequency sitting still. Now, mind you, I got for the past, I feel better yesterday. It was the first day I worked out since our last video, our second time. Um, they, For me to be able to be paused, I literally almost have to get sick. I mean, they have to pause me to be able to process this stuff. And some of you guys are very, very similar in the same way. Okay. I explain, express this to you because the light is awesome. Balance, harmony, emotional bliss, awesome. What we're dealing with on earth right now is a lot of transmutation of the past so we can amplify the present to create the new in our future timelines of what we all wish to do. Our job for one another, my family, is to aid in filling in those gaps for one another. You know, you are your own guru is what I like to say. And um, back to the dreamscape, I was explaining to this gentleman that based upon his situation, the sheriff, right? His personality will change based upon the application. His choice is in the manner in which he uses to listen to. Is he going to listen to the compassionate version of himself, that one that wants to help the people, that can actually pause the moment, look into their eyes, and see that he's dealing with a bunch, a bunch of emotional children, and calm it down, or choose that more reactionary, violent side, which is basically, you know, grab the guy, throw him on the ground, the whole, the whole thing, which is an expression of anger, Right? And bottled up Yang, but I'm going to throw you down and hook you up and you, I mean, I'm going to hit you a couple of times. That's because that individual, that vessel is not properly balancing his or her emotional field. Hence, it turns into a level 10 situation when if they were more balanced, it would be a level 4, level 5 situation. Okay? I express this to you because these are learned traits and based upon your profession, especially all my uh, fellow... Uh, all my homies, I did, I was an ex-military, but a lot of my friends are, and I know they went through a lot of that programming. 
If you can at least buffer your emotional thought with one breath before you make a reaction, this world would be that much a nicer place. So here comes a situation at you. Here comes a confrontation. If the guy or the girl, say the sheriff, right? Kid go. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on. Control that adrenal gland firing. Right? Lock in and focus on what needs to be done. And take that one moment pause. That one moment pause can save lives. And that one moment pause, my ladies and gents across earth, can change the world. Okay? Because in that moment, you are gathering your clarity to make the highest you know, destiny choice in that moment before you engage. Coworker at works going off. About to be a confrontation, for example. Let's flip the script, make it more, you know, chill. Most people have normal jobs. Your boss is ripping on you. You pause. Here comes the information. I need those PTS reports. What is that? Office space, right? So if you listen to them, mind you, it's all everything is in the eyes. Okay? Eyes are the windows to the soul, right? So as they're doing that, you just kind of breathe. And then look at them again. And the gnarliest thing about it is energetically, when you do that in front of somebody, when they're going off, you just kind of freeze frame the entire environment. What you're doing is you're allowing that higher perspective from you to actually come down join this conversation join this energy wave that you are now emitting with that pause right and then now you are all or both i should say in the lower d's dimensions right viewing the situation you will see them change like this because instantly you just call down a higher aspect of yourself while they're ranting right or expressing that yang energy which needs to be expressed you know there's different ways to express it my thing is that in understanding your force there's both. You can't ignore this one. You can't ignore the night side. You can't ignore the yang. You can't ignore the fire, ladies and gents. It does not work. You can't go sing Kumbaya and get a hula hoop and go in the circles and sing with flowers and all. Because here's the deal. Eventually, you're going to have to deal with this. Eventually, you're going to have to look at your environment. And eventually, you're going to have to understand why you need to understand both to create balance so you can go through life, right, in motion, in feeling and having compassion for others because you're like, oh, I've been there. Oh, I used to explode all the time. <laughs> you know, I used to kaboom. You know, oh no, watch out, here he comes. Listen, if some of us here can simply share how we have learned how to control that yang energy, that night energy, that force, that emotion, that frequency. If we can share how we have not only gone through that level of understanding, right, but it also how we have overcome it, at least, right, with one breath of pause before you make an action, not just to react to everything in your environment, but to take that one pause, right, this world would be that better, a much better of a, an awesome place. And uh, I just wanted to express that to you, and uh, I hope that helps. And to my uh, dream simulation, the pause has come from the compassion. Your heart resonates your true field. And to give yourself that pause and understand when you switch, right? And what version of you you're switching into. And to be conscious of when you switch into that version of yourself. Because the goal, ladies and gents, is to stay as the inner child at all times. If you can stay happy and be that inner child, you create that bliss and abundance, right? But if, you know, uh, the whole, longer you can hold on to that. So the longer you hold on to the heart and staying in the inner child and then deal with the other stuff that comes in, right? The easier it is, right? Uh, for you to maintain that resonance, which creates abundance and awesomeness in you walking on a higher timeline and stepping into your true form. So I uh, 
Hope that helps, and I wish you the best. Sending love and appreciation from uh, Sedona. If you guys uh, are in town or coming into town, uh, we do have a table over at the Sedona Yoga Festival over at the Hilton. I'd love to see you guys in person. Much love. Peace.